What is up, Nephilim? This is the Chig coming at you with another D3 build guide. I'm going to be telling you about the Helltooth Gargantuan T16 speed build right now, but before we get into that, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Everything you do helps support the channel. And don't forget, we got the giveaway coming up where I'm going to be giving away at least a copy of D4 or another video game of your choice. Uh, how you enter is being subscribed to the channel and liking and commenting on any of the videos that mention the giveaway. I'll also have that in the description of the videos. So anyway, yeah, let's hop right into it. So the Helltooth set, I, I accidentally got a pair of primal shoulders for it, so I built the set. Um, that's happened to me twice now. But So we're using five pieces because we're using Mask of Jerem in the head, using the shoulders, chest, feet, legs, and hands. The two set, all of that says is gargantuan causes necrosis, making them take a dot. Um, the damage doesn't matter from that. Uh, four set, after applying necrosis, you take 60% reduced damage for 10 seconds. That matters. And then after casting Wall of Death, you deal 17,500% increased damage for 15 seconds. Okay. Um, on your gargantuan. Uh, Mask of Jerem, your pets do up to 200% increased damage. So that we're here for that. Uh, Squirt's Necklace, while not taking damage, damage dealt is increased by up to 100%. And damage taken is increased by up to 50%. Or Zeki and Arm Guards that don't have intellect on them because I don't have an int pair. Every time you destroy something, you gain a burst of speed. We are going to be zooming. We're using Gold Wrap for toughness on this build. We don't have a lot of toughness, but once we pick up gold, we're invincible. Ring of Emptiness. Um, you and your non-fetish pets deal extra damage to enemies affected by either Haunt or Locust Swarm. Um, we don't have Locust Swarm on the bar, but we do have Wormwood in the cube. So we're always causing Locust Swarm to things. Um, we have the short man's finger. Gargantuan instead summons three smaller gargantuans that have their damage increased by 650%. We're using spite. Non-cleaving gargantuan gain the cleave and chilling effects of the humongoid rune. And then we're switching from the sacred harvester over to Ingoem because we're just going to be using spirit walk all the time because we don't have that offhand in the cube. So we're just going to be popping it after we kill leads. It's It's... Not quite as effective, but it lets us use Wormwood and lets us get more attacks, uh, movement speed from Horrify. So we can't really complain. Uh, we got a big life gem in the helmet, and then we've got int gems everywhere else. Um, as you can see, I do not have any int points or anything in my um, Paragon board. And we have the Bane of the Trapped. Um, making slowed enemies take more damage. Enforcer, making your pets deal more damage. And then Boon of the Hoarder, giving us more gold for gold wrap. Um, we're using Wormwood. Locust Swarm continually plagues enemies around you, so Locust Swarm's going crazy. Tasker and Theo, increase attack speed on the pets, making it a little easier. And then Ring of Royal Granger reduces the number of items needed by one, so we can wear the Mask of Jerem. Um, Soul Harvest, Soda Waste, is going to give us some stats and is going to give us some movement speed. Pyranado to stack stuff up if we need to. Spirit Walk Severance just for the move speed and to get out of dodge. Gargantuan Restless Giant. Um, this just makes them enrage when they're near a lot of enemies or near elites. They do more damage. They attack faster. They move faster. Horrify. It fears, but we're using it for the attack, uh, movement speed. And then Wall of Death. It doesn't matter what rune you use. You're literally just popping that to keep your buffs up. Um, we're using Midnight Feast to make our Gargantuan deal 50% extra damage. Spirit Vessel, just in case we get one tapped before we get up our defenses. Pierce the Veil, you can switch this to something else if you want, but you don't need to. All of your damage is increased by 20%. Your mana costs are increased by 30%. And then Confidence Ritual, you deal 25% extra damage to all enemies within 20 yards. So let's go knock out a T16 real quick. And I will show you what kind of zoom in this be do. All right, so, all right, yep, so bang, bang, bang. All right, so there's an elite pack. As soon as it dies, we're gone. All right, oh, well, there's another elite pack. Cool. Yeah, you just keep your buffs up, zoom around, zoom around. Just make sure you stop to cast your buffs every couple of seconds. Um, Ingolim is going to keep you safe on your um, spirit walk. So, I mean, you don't really have much downtime at all on your spirit walk. So that's never going to be an issue. Um, 
But yeah, we're just looking for elites. I mean, obviously the gargantuans are killing things while we're running around, but we are mainly elite hunting with this build. Um, but yeah, and then if your gargantuans are off in the corner doing something they're not supposed to be doing, you can recast them on um, a mob's head. Do not be afraid to recast them on something's head because they will come help you, right? Like, just pop them if you need them. Um, they won't mind, I promise. They're here to listen to you. Um, but yeah, this is just pop your stuff when you got a... Like, if you got good density, you can drop them. Um, otherwise, just run around and look for elites. And then when you find an elite, drop them on their head and uh, watch them die. And you'll get your uh, ingolum up and then go ham. Um, after you get your ingolum up the first time, you basically just get to zoom around for the rest of forever. Um, it's really that simple. Um there's no struggle with this build at all. Um, the hardest thing about this build is getting your toughness up. And all you got to do is play safe until you get some gold in your pocket. And then you'll have so much toughness you won't know what to do with it. And it won't matter anymore. So, yeah. Oh goody, good map. Womp womp. Do, 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 do. Phenomena. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this map kind of sucks, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, na, 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 na. Can't really do much with poop density. Alright, there we go. Rift Guardian. Go ahead and pop Grenado where he's standing, and then as soon as your guards hit him, he's going to explode. So, yep, oh, see? Easy keys, easy money, easy runs. You know, super chill. Um, if you like this build, it's a fun build. I enjoy playing it. Um, anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's the T16 version of the Helk Tooth Gargantuan uh, build. So go out there and put this one together and let me know how you like it. Um, hit that like and subscribe button and uh, go get those legendaries.